This match at BMO Field between Canada and the United States is celebrating Canada's 100th year in soccer. But even though it's a celebration match, Craig, it's really a preparation match for World Cup qualifying. Both teams facing opposition down the road in just a few days. But they're worlds apart, aren't they, when it comes to where they sit in World Cup qualifying? That's right. I mean, just forget about the world rankings itself. But as far as their depth on the side, the United States have probably could field three teams. They've also had a couple games warming up before this game as well. They played three warm-up games, one against Scotland, one against Brazil, and now Canada. This is the only one that the Canadian team will actually have. And with the injuries to key players like Josh Simpson, Marcel de Jong, these are hard players for Canada to replace. For the United States, it would be a little bit easier for them. The United States will play Guatemala in their first World Cup qualifier. For Canada, it's Cuba. So I guess this is simply setting the stage for that match. Absolutely it is. As Stephen Hart talked about, there's no more experimenting. This is now time for business. He has to be able to stick with the team that he's got, and they're going to take it very seriously. It's about preparation, of course, but getting some positive things out of the United States match. Obviously, the result is not important, but the preparation and getting ready for the Cuba match, the all-important match, the first one for Canada, that's what it's all about. And after that match away at Cuba, it's back here at BMO Field for a game against Honduras on June the 12th. You can catch all the action between Canada and the United States right here on Sportsnet Sunday night. Join us 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific for this soccer-friendly.